Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Living Fish Alive, and you're bringing you another freaking living video. Yeah, got some really cool stuff to talk about today. Um, Long weekend, long weekend, but it's all right. We're still chilling. We're still making it. At the end of the day, I missed a training session this weekend. I was supposed to train on Saturday, and I did not train, and I didn't want to train on Sunday either because I had stuff to do both days. Saturday, I was fishing with my homie. Sunday, I was with the fam. I wish I would have went to church on Sunday, but I got legit, like, very, very, very little sleep that Saturday night because baby just was kept keeping us up. So besides that, though, hopefully the training session is going to be good today. I think it is. I got bench and deadlifts. Same, same thing I ran last Monday. We finna get it. Alrighty, guys. So uh, topic for the day is actually going to be my internship plant visit it was so so freaking cool so i'll get right into it so first things first i get to the plant and it is way way bigger than i expected there's like there's like two tanks side by side that are connected like a hundred feet in the air um and they're they're probably like 20 meters in diameter at least and that's that's for the power supply but i'll get to that so basically what i'm going to do is kind of go through the process of what's going on in the plant it was a really really cool process so first and foremost what the company does is they buy they buy wood chips and wood shavings and they get them in these big old 18 wheelers and these big 18 wheelers are literally lifted up and dumped into a hopper by a machine like the whole entire 18 wheeler is lifted up and dumped into a hopper by this huge hydraulic machine besides that they and, and and you know we would get wood chips or wood shavings in that in that in those loads so we go around this little building like i'm already shocked because i'm like wow that's crazy and they dump them onto a conveyor belt and we go around this building to see kind of where the conveyor belt goes and the conveyor belt goes to these massive towers of i mean massive mountains of wood pellets and, and wood shavings and it's just crazy. So from there, they have a little scooping, a little scooping uh, conveyor belt that scoops up the wood pellets and wood chips uh, for the refinement process. Because the way that I mean, um, the product we create is actually particle board, which is just board locked in by resin. Um, just very, very extremely fine particles of waste wood locked in by resin together. So um, it goes into the refinement process, which in reality is like these hundreds of discs rotating at like extremely fast speeds. And they crush up the wood pellets and wood um, shavings to, to be these extremely, extremely fine particles. So then... And the force, the rotational force from those, from those um, twisty things or those uh, plates, actually creates a backwards vacuum, and the vacuum sucks up the particles into another pipe. So from there, from that pipe, we go on to the next conveyor belt like it come the the particle board comes out of a, a big hopper in a line and we go to the next conveyor belt so and, and that's like all the way like way up in the air and then it and then it transfers over all the way like probably at least 200 feet to the next conveyor belt so the next conveyor belt is cool so what happens right out of that next conveyor belt is the particle board gets crushed it gets put under extreme amount of pressure so that it can it can you know start to take form and i believe that this is what this is when they add the resin as well is when they crush the particle board uh or they crush the particles to actually start making a product an actual particle board so so the pressure they put high amounts of pressure on there on these boards or on these particles to create a board. So from here, they go to these saws in order to in order to um, to make the length of the board standard. To so they go to these saws to basically clean off the edges of the board, and then whatever they the 
the saws clean off, they actually just recycle those particles right back into the system. So it's a awesome, it's a really really cool, um, super duper cool uh, way to cut them. And they they already have the recycle stream figured out, so they're they're, they're pretty solid as far as that goes. So uh, from here they go through a heat exchanger that activates that resin. And that resin, uh, you know, it, it won't lock until there's a certain amount of heat. And once it locks, it never unlocks. So, for example, if if that amount of heat is applied to the board again, it's not going to unlock. That resin locks it in place forever. So, the resin locks it in place, and then and then it goes on to another saw. And just keep in mind, this is all happening on a moving conveyor belt the entire time. So, the second saw it actually moves with the conveyor belt to cut a straight line so we can have sections of particle board. Super duper cool. And from there, we go on to these huge jet engine looking, looking, um, I don't know what they're called, but they kind of look like jet engines. But basically, they're used to cool the boards because the boards just got off the heat exchanger and they're pretty hot. They're probably 150 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, off that, um, you know, out of that heat exchanger. So they go through this triple cooling process of probably one of the coolest, my, one of my favorite parts in the entire experience was seeing these huge, huge jet engine looking things that just have wood on them. And as another piece of wood gets placed below them, it just moves up one slot and then another piece of wood gets placed and then it moves up another slot and they go through probably, I don't know, probably about an hour, at least hour cooling process. And, uh, so the next thing is, is they go through a sandpaper process, which smoothens out the particle board to, uh, get to get up to standard. So the sandpaper, it goes through a double sandpaper process, like a, a, a more rough sandpaper first, and then an extremely fine sandpaper. And the, the stuff literally comes out so smooth. It comes out as smooth as, as smooth as uh, baby skin, to be honest, it comes out extremely smooth. And then from here, it goes off and into a cutting machine. So the cutting machine uh, uses hydraulics to get to the exact parameters of the cut that we want, uh, basically based on what the customer wants. So if they want, let's say, four by eight boards, then that cutting machine will cut, will take about five boards at a time, five of those big boards at a time, and then and then it will um, cut them into their correct lengths. And then last but not least, they square the boards off. They square them off before they, they put them on a pallet and then get them ready to ship, which there's legit thousands. There's probably hundreds of pallets. Now, there is definitely hundreds of pallets in there. I wouldn't say thousands, but hundreds of pallets in there that are already ready to sell. It's so freaking cool. Super freaking cool. So they square them off first using this machine that basically lifts the boards up and lets and lets gravity square them off. So super super cool. Besides that, um, wasn't a crazy uh, wasn't a crazy workout today. The rows were good, the bench was good. Sorry that I don't know the verse of the day. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put it in after, so I don't have to go and look for it right now. But anyway, people. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. I hope the verse of the day speaks to y'all. And God bless. Peace.